So we have now the VSR or volume soils of revolution by Pappus theorem. So this is really easy to um, use. So we have the first theorem, which is using the surface area. So first theorem is a surface area S generated by revolving an arc S. So we have the capital S and small s is equal to the length of arc times the circumference of the circle traced by the centroid of the arc. So we have your S, which is the surface area equal to 2 pi R S. Okay, so R will be the perpendicular sh or the shortest distance of the solid generated to the axis of revolution. We have here the second theorem, which is the one that we'll be using mostly. So it's the definition just the same. So the volume of solid generated by revolving an area A is equal to the area times the circumference of the circle traced by the centroid of the arc. So the circumference, the circumference of the circle traced by the centroid of the arc, that is just 2 pi. So because it, you will trace the whole, um, the whole 360 degrees. So that is 2 pi. And then centroid, which is the R bar, and A, which be, will be the area. And that will already be your volume. Okay? So remember that R is the perpendicular or the shortest distance of the solid genera generated to the axis of revolution. Okay? So... Let's get into the problem. So we have here, find the volume of the solid generated. Find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the area bounded by an ellipse. 9x squared plus 16y squared equal to 144 about the line 4x plus 5y equal to 20. So I already drew the uh, figure again. So x, this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. And as you can see, you already see the uh, ellipse. And the red line will be the, so this red line is your uh, 4x plus 5y equal to 20. And then, uh, this ellipse is um, 9x squared plus 16, y squared equal to 144. Okay. So again, the formula is v equal to 2 pi, right? And then r so, find the volume solid generated by revolving the area about the line. So, the axis of revolution is the line. Okay? So, you already have 2 pi, so we have to find A. So, A is just the area of the ellipse. So, remember that if the, the equation is 9x squared plus 16y squared equal to 144, right? And then... Simplifying this into a standard equation, you'll just have your divide, dividing everything by 144, you'll have your x squared over 16 plus uh, y squared over 9 equal to, uh, no, equal to 1. Equal to 1. And then, you can also have your x squared over 4 squared plus y squared equal to 3 squared equal to 1. Therefore, from this a uh, standard equation of an ellipse, you have here A is equal to 4 and then B is equal to 3. And we already know the area of an ellipse is just pi A B. So area is just equal to pi times 4 times 3. So this is just 12 pi. Okay? But how about the R? It's the R bar. So the R, again, the axis of revolution is this line. Okay, So this is the um, axis of revolution okay so since that is the axis of revolution r bar is the shortest distance to the centroid of the uh, yung, uh, the one that you have to rotate so in this case the one that we have to rotate is the ellipse therefore your r bar r bar is the distance from um, axis of revolution let's just call it aor Axis of revolution to centroid of ellipse. Okay. Of ellipse. So the center of ellipse is simply this one, right? So the center of it is just zero, zero. Shortest distance. So if you want to find that, all you have to do is just find um, distance of a line to a point. Okay. So distance of a line to a point. So distance of a line that is 4x plus, what's the given? 4x plus 5y. 4x plus 5y minus 20 equal to 0. From 0, 0. 
Okay? To find that, therefore, um, using your analytic geometry knowledge again, to find that, you, all you have to do is just uh, substitute the coordinates to the equation of the line. So, you'll have your 4, uh, 0, plus 5, and y is also 0, right? Minus 20. All over to the square root of the values of coefficients at the coefficients of x and y. So you have your 4 squared plus 5 squared. Okay? I think that is, um, what's the value for that? 3.12. So this is 3.12. Okay. So getting that, you'll just have your v is equal to pi times the r bar, which is 3.12, times the area, which is 12 pi. So that's it. Therefore, the volume will just be equal to 739.04. And this will be your answer. We got the next one. So find the volume of solid generated by revolving a quarter circle, x squared plus y squared equal 36, on the second quadrant, about the line y plus 10 equal to 0. So again, I already drew the uh, figure. So you have your x squared plus y squared. So this will be your um, x squared plus y squared equal to 36, right? So this is your uh, quarter circle on the second quadrant. Of course, and this line is the y plus 10 equal to 0. So you can also rewrite this as y equal to negative 10. Okay? So we can say that uh, if this is your origin, okay? this is your origin 0, 0. This is your uh, center, or not the center, or origin. Okay. So now again, uh, using the uh, formula, which is V is equal to 2 pi, okay, 2 pi R bar A. Okay. So for the area, area of a quarter circle, that is quite easy. That is just 1 fourth pi R squared. Okay. 1 fourth pi, but since we already have the equation for the circle, so that is 36. Therefore, the R um, is also 36, okay? Or, or, or the R squared is also 36. But that is 6. The radius is 6 squared. Okay? And then, uh, how about for the R bar? So for the R bar, again, I'll just erase this one. For the R bar, for the centroid of this one, centroid of the circle, right? Centroid of the circle to the, to the axis of revolution. Again, you have to revolve it around this. The axis of revolution is this line. Therefore, you have to find, we already know that this one is 10, right? The distance of that is 10. But how about for this one? Okay. So for that one, again, the centroid of a circle is just 4R over 3 pi. Okay. So for the R bar, that will become 10 plus 4, your R is 6 over 3 pi. And that's it. So, therefore, we can say that the volume is simply 2 pi, right? R bar, which is 10 plus 4 times 6 over 3 pi. That's your R bar times the area, which is 1 fourth pi R squared, 6 squared. Okay. And then the answer of that is 2, 2, 2, 8. Point ninety. Okay, so Papa's theorem is really useful in this kind of uh, questions.